For Ma's little theorem is an important result in number theory. It seems simple and isn't too difficult to discover through some calculations and explorations, but it has a lot of very important implications. The proof we will see is a combinatorial proof, which is a fancy way of saying that we're doing a proof by counting. Many combinatorial proofs begin by thinking about a situation that initially seems like it has nothing to do with the actual problem at hand, then it all comes together at the very end. In this video, we're going to look at a special case of the proof that will highlight the big ideas, and then we'll do the full proof in class. Theorem. If p is a prime and n is a positive integer, then p divides n to the p minus n. We are going to imagine creating strings of beads of length p where we have beads of n different colors. We can use the same color multiple times and we have enough of each color that we will not run out. For our example, we're going to look at the case where p equals 3 and n equals 4. Since we have four choices for each of the three beads, we can use the general combinatorial principle to see that there are 4 times 4 times 4, or 64 strings that we can make without worrying about flipping the string over or other manipulations like that. Specifically, this means that these two strings should be considered to be different. Here are all 64 strings that we can make. Out of these, exactly four of them will be a solid color. We will remove these from the collection. Notice that we can take the bottom bead from any string and move it to the top to get a different string. We know that it will be different because we removed all the strings where the beads are all the same color. Since there are three beads, we can do this three times before returning back to the original string. This fact shows that 3 must divide the number of strings that remain after removing the strings of solid color. Let's review the major steps of the calculation. We started with n equals 4 colors and strings of length p equals 3. This led to 4 to the third, or 64 total strings. We then removed the four strings that were just a single color. The remaining strings are able to be put into groups of 3, so 3 must divide the remaining number of strings. If we think about this proof, we realize that there's nothing special about the number of colors. We could have had five colors and the logic would not have changed. This means that the proof is independent of the value of n. But we do need to think about the value p and why it's important that p is a prime for this proof to work. We'll end this video here with that open question and we'll discuss it further in class. Thank you for watching this video. I'm currently dabbling with the idea of creating more videos like these for my classes, and I welcome constructive comments that might help me make better videos in the future.